Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we will continue looking at spreadsheet functions and we are now on lesson 18. So we've already looked at if if statements and VLOOKUPs part one. So this is was the previous video. Okay, so please check it out. Now we're going to be looking at if statements and VLOOKUP part two. So in a slightly different context. So what do we need to do here? So what we have here is an item number which is going to refer to this column here. Okay. And then this can change at any time. It could re refer to the spring sale amount, the summer sale, winter sale, and then a normal price. So depending on what is here will depend on what price will be outputted here. Okay. If we've got nothing, then what we'd like to do is just return nothing, not an error message, just a, a blank cell. So what we'll do is we'll just keep it spring cell for now. Okay, and we'll do the task. So it's going to be a long if statement. So let me zoom in. Okay, so equals if. And what we need to do is going to be an if statement based on the cell type. And what we can do is click on this cell and check if it's equal to the contents of these cells here. Okay, so we can click on equals. Um, this cell. Remember, we're going to be dragging a formula down, and these cells we can G5 can change into G. Um, so C7 for this cell can change into C8 and C9 and so on. But it's these cells here need to stay in the same place when we do drag it down. So we need to lock. So we're going to check if this is equal to this, and if it's true, then we're going to going to do a V lookup. I'm going to look up the item number, comma. We'll go to the um, table array. Highlight these two columns, lock the data, comma, the column index. We want to refer to the second column and click on exact match, close a bracket. So that's the first condition. But if it's not true, let's check for another condition. So if, and again, we're going to click on this cell here. If this cell here, C7, it's equals to now this cell. Let's lock it because we want to keep that in the same place. And if that's true, we can do another VLOOKUP. But this time we're going to be looking up the third column instead. So we can use the item as a lookup value. We can go to here and look up the third column. Let's lock this, comma. Column index is going to be three, comma. And it's going to be an exact match. OK. And let's continue. So that's, if that's not true, we have another condition to check. So if this is now equals to the winter sale, let's lock that again. And if that's true, again, we're going to be doing another VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP, okay, we're looking up the item number item code, sorry, and the table array is now going to go to this column here. So one, two, three, four. Let's lock this, so that's a table array. Comma, the column index is going to be four, and we want the exact match. And we can close this bracket here, and we have one more condition to check. I'm just gonna move that down. So if it's not spring, summer, winter we're going to check now if it's equal to normal price so if we click on here equals the normal price let's lock it in and if that's true we can do a vlookup on the last column so again look up the item the table array we want to go to one two three four the fifth column let's lock it comma the column index is going to be five and we want the exact match Close the bracket, okay, and press comma. So we had the false. Now, what if there was nothing in this cell? We don't want to return an error message. We want to return an empty cell, so we can just do two speech marks. And let's close all of the brackets until we get back to a black one. Okay, so the spring sale for 1002 is 53 pounds, that's right. For summer, it's 32 pounds. 
for the winter is 35 pounds the normal price is 153 so it looks like it's working if i now delete this we don't have anything in there so let me just drag this formula down job done okay what i'm going to do is just put in here spring again now the second part of this task is guys what we need to do is work out if we're going to be adding all of these values together or finding the maximum the minimum or the average so again it's going to be an equal if if this cell here is equals to a uh, sum and if it's true then what we want to do is just type in sum and highlight all of these numbers here and that's one condition if that's not true we're going to check now if this one is equals so uh, if this cell here is equals to it was max and min so we'll do max first and just put it into whoops if it's equals to um max and if that's true then we can do the max function now to find the highest value from here comma and let's do the same thing but do the minimum so do you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy this okay and if that's not true um i'm going to copy this again and do it for the average so if this is equal average there we go um, at the false let's say nothing is in the cell we can return um two speech marks to return an empty space close all of the brackets back to a black one done so let me just change that to currency so that's working out the total okay um, if we change that to max that returns the highest value which is 163 min returns the lowest 24 and then this works out the average and then if i delete that nothing happens so change that back to sum okay guys so what we've done here is again we're using if statements and then vlookups but obviously this is a little bit more challenging as we have lots of columns to look up to get different outputs okay so if this was equal to this cell here okay then we looked up this column and so on um what i also wanted to include was if there was nothing in the cell rather than having an error message i wanted to show just a blank cell so this is why i've done the speech marks here at the end well guys i hope this video makes sense um please join me in the next video um, please drop your comments below like and share and subscribe to the channel as well if you can thank you for your time and good luck on the exams and i'll see you see you guys in the next video bye bye thank you